Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some knowledge about rotation of position in volleyball games. It is a confusing and difficult part of volleyball games. I hope this video can help you uh, understand it. Before we start, I'm going to use right column instead of left column, which is the full name of position in the rest of the, this video. This is a basic rotation position of a a volleyball court. You can see bottom right is position one. Counterclockwise, you can see position two, three, four, five, and six. But players rotate in clockwise, which means players on position two will be on position one in next rotation. Whoever on position one will serve. You can see I mark opposite spiker and outside heater on position 2 and 4 because opposite spiker usually attack on position 2 and outside heater usually attack on position 4. You need to mark this. We will use later. Here shows the positions of each rotation and these positions are widely used by men and women's volleyball team of every nation. In rotation 1, you can see setter is on position 1, outside heater is on position 2, and opposite spiker is on position 4, and we usually call this reverse rotation. Because as we mentioned, outside heater usually attack at position 4, but he stands at position 2. And we call it rotation 1 because setter is on position 1, and in next rotation, Setter will rotate clockwise to position 6, which makes this rotation rotation 6. And in a similar fashion, you can have rotation 5, 4, 3, 2. And after rotation 2, it backs to rotation 1. And I'm going to illustrate a actual receiving position of each rotation. Here is a rotation 1. Before we start, I'm going to show you a official rule of I5VB for a position. You can see each front row player must have at least a part of his or her foot closer to the center line than the feet of the corresponding back row player. Each right left side player must have at least a part of his or her foot closer to the right left side line than the feet of the center player in that row, which means Outside heater and opposite spiker have to be more closer to the sideline than middle blocker. And outside heater has to be more closer to the center line than the back row setter. And each player is only relative to its a corresponding uh, player, which means outside heater's position is only relative to middle blocker and setter. But Outside heater's position is not relative to middle blocker in the back row. So, if you know this, let's move to the actual receiving position of rotation 1. You can see outside heater from the front row falls back to the back row to receive. It is acceptable according to the rules because outside heater from the front row is only uh, relative to middle blocker and setter. So he only needs to stand right to middle blocker before the uh, setter from the back row. So usually outside heater from the uh, front row falls back to the back row to receive and middle blocker remains in the front row. Now opposite spiker doesn't receive. And the back row setter should stand behind the outside heater from the front row. Here is the rotation 1. And then rotation 6. It is very interesting and still very confusing because the back row setter stands actually in the front row. It is acceptable. As we mentioned, the back row setter only needs to stand behind the opposite spiker and between uh, middle blocker or the liberal from the back row and outside heater from the back row. So setter stands here in the front row is totally okay. 
And as we mentioned, the setter is not relative to the middle blocker, so he can stand before the middle blocker. And also, outside hitter from the front row falls back to the back row to receive, along with liberal and outside hitter from the back row. And rotation 5, similar to rotation 6, setter from the back row stands in the front row, and outside hitter from the front row falls back to the back row to receive, along with outside hitter back row and the liberal. And opposite spiker falls back a little bit. For rotation 4, it's quite obvious because setter and the middle blocker remain in the front row. Outside hitter from the front row falls back to the back row. And opposite spiker has to stand behind the outside hitter from the front row. And rotation 3, similar to rotation 4, setter and the middle blocker remain in the front row. And outside hitter from the front row falls back to the back row to receive. An object spiker hide behind the liberal to avoid receiving. Rotation 2 is quite obvious too because setter remains in the front row and outside the hitter from the front row falls back to the back row to receive. This is the last rotation. And I hope this video can solve some problems. And the rotation position in volleyballs is very tricky and difficult and confusing to understand. It takes time and hope this video can help you understand it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!